My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, our readings today are about rocks. In the first reading we hear of the rock that is to be struck and it will give people nourishment. It is the rock that stands in the midst of the wilderness. It is the rock that is a source of nourishment for the people. And it is the rock at a place of contestation where people question God and they question Moses and Aaron's intentions. Why did you bring us out of the wilderness? Do you intend to kill us? Here we are. We have no provisions. We are dying of thirst. And yet, the Lord provides through his servants, Moses. I find it interesting that Moses is invited to strike the rock, but Moses is enraged and he strikes it twice. And for that he's punished, you will not see the promised land. And you say, what things has Moses endured? And why punish him for a mistake? If we think that way, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we have missed the point. The point is the shift of emphasis. The emphasis should be on God and not Moses. It should be on God's providence and not God's servants. In the gospel, Peter professes Jesus to be the Christ, the Messiah, the one who is to come. And when he does that, the Lord sees in him a solid faith worth building the church on. Interestingly, no sooner had Peter professed Jesus to be the Christ, that he takes him aside and he begins to remonstrate with him. And all because Peter cannot think of a suffering Messiah, of a dying Messiah. He is thinking in terms of world politics. The Messiah must be powerful, must be strong, and the Messiah must conquer. And yet Jesus is the anointed one who ushers in the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is not about violence. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, every time violence has been employed to push the agenda of the kingdom of God, the kingdom has been betrayed. Peter, like you and I, still has to learn to live with the paradox of the suffering Messiah. The Messiah who more or less speaks to us in our times. He does not shy away from suffering. He shares our sufferings. He has gone through them. And through his own sufferings, his death, he has illumined our suffering. He has given us the grace to endure our sufferings and to persevere in them till we get to the kingdom. <laughs> 